Hello. Um, if you're thinking he looks familiar, you would be correct. My name is Lee Johnson. Uh, I used to have a channel on BookTube called Not Entirely Human TV. Um, I've been away from BookTube slash YouTube slash social media, whatever, for a while. Um, the HTC I was recording on broke, so I had to get a new phone, um, which is part of the reason I've been away. The other reason is lots of things have been happening in my personal life. I'm not going to discuss, but you know, I had to deal with them first and put YouTube on the back burner. But I'm back now, and in the time I've been away, I've acquired a few books. I mean, I have about 14, 15 to show you today, um, so I'm just going to get on with it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is this it is A Tolkien Treasury, and it's published by, I don't know if you can see that, by Running Press. Um, and it's just a little mini collection of lots of, like, I don't know if you can see that, like, loads of quotes and stuff. Um, and really nice pictures. And quotes like, I cordially dislike allegory. Sorry. I cordially dislike allegory in all its manifestations, and always have done since I grew old and wary enough to detect its presence. J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Right there. Right there. Right there. Um, yeah, and I just picked it up and I thought, wow, it's so cool. There's another one here, look. Evil that is has every advantage but one. It is inferior in imagination. W.H. Auden. It's got a cool picture of a little fox or wolf or whatever that is. Yeah, I just thought it was really cool, really cute. There's only like 20p in charity shop. So I thought I have to have it. Okay, now I'm going to show you some books which I'm currently reading. Because I do this. I pick up a book. I start reading it. I go out and buy another book. I start reading that. And I go buy another one. I start reading that. Um, so I have a few books with a few bookmarks. Uh, that I've already started. Quite a few actually. One, two, three, four, five. Five that I've already started. But I'm going to show you them. Um, actually probably a few more. Uh, but anyway. So the first book which I picked up today. Is Asylum. By Madeline Rue. Now, this is about this boy called Dan Crawford uh, who goes to this summer program at New Hampshire College. And while he's there, um, while he's there, he's told that he's staying in this outbuilding, which is actually like a former mental asylum. And he meets these people, and lots of freaky things happen. It's like Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I loved. Um, it's got all those creepy pictures in it. Let me show you. Um, see if I can find a good one. Uh, where is the picture? There's a really cool one that I saw. I can't find it now. Oh, yeah. Here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a man in a straight jacket. And there's another one. This one's a bit creepy. So, forgive me if it creeps you out. But there, you see the girl? She's had a lobotomy, which I think means they take your brain out. You know, she's got a big scar across her forehead and her eyes are white. Anyway, I bought this today, not long ago, and I'm already on chapter 5, page 44. So, I am loving it. Okay, the next one to show you I bought about a week ago, and it is Carnaby. And it's by Kate Sampson. And... I just, this cover is just amazing. Like, the way the buildings and stuff make her wings. I don't know if you can see that, but they're actually buildings. And on the back, it's, like, really nice and blue and red. And striking, and the spine is cool. With the multicoloured letters. It's, it's a really good book. It's about this girl called Sarah. Um, and she finds her mum dead. And the only person who was there at the time was her sister's Polish boyfriend who's just leaving the flat as she goes in and finds her mum dead. Um, but over the course of her being questioned and seeing psychologists and stuff, she's not showing any remorse for some reason. and She's just blank about it all. Um, so she starts becoming the prime suspect, but she is not the killer. So it's really interesting. Um, like I said, I've already started it. Yeah, I'm on page 37. Uh, it is good. 
it is good. It's written in a strange way, um, but I kind of like that sometimes. The next book I have is Ghost Hunters, and it's by Neil Spring. And I picked this up in Asda for three pound eighty-five, and the original price is eight ninety-nine. And I picked it up because it has an awesome cover, and I like stories about ghosts. It's set in 1926 in London. It's about a girl called Sarah Gray and a guy called Harry Price. Uh, Sarah Gray becomes Harry Price's assistant and he's London's greatest ghost hunter. And Sorry, I just heard a weird noise. Um, and they visit this place called Borley Rectory, which everybody avoids because it's so haunted. Um, and they try and figure out what happened at Borley, uh, Borley Rectory. And as you can see on the front it says, Terror awaited me at Borley Rectory, the most haunted house in England. There. How cool. Uh, and the spine is beautiful. And I'm on page five. Oh look, there's the label for a bag I bought at Asda. But anyway, me. Uh, on page five, it's a big book, it's, let's see how many pages, it's 522 pages, so it's a beast, but it is good. Okay, next book, which I have already started, is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, Schwab, um, I've read The Archive, which I thought was amazing, um, and I've already pre-ordered uh, the Unbound on Amazon, so that should be coming very soon. Um, but this, I've already started reading it. I'm on page <clears throat> 15. Um, it's about Victor and Eli, um, and ages ago they were friends at college. Um, and then 10 years later, Victor breaks out of prison, um, and Eli is on a mission to eradicate every other superpowered person that he can find apart from his sidekick, an enigmatic woman with an unbreakable will. Um, and apparently it's about like superheroes and villains and these guys fight each other and stuff like that. Um, and I think it has a really nice cover. I mean, I prefer the American hardback cover, which I wanted to get, but it was so expensive on Amazon. It was like, like about 20 quid. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So I went to Walkstones, picked this one up for 6 dollars and I love the cover, and I love the spine, and yeah. Okay, the next book I have, I bought yesterday, and it is Angel Fall by Susan E. And this has an amazing cover. Um, and the back says, It has been six weeks since the angels returned to Earth and destroyed the world as we know it. When they fly away with the helpless little girl, her sister Penryn will do anything to get her back. That's very nice, and I believe this started out as an e-book, but it was so popular that um, Hodder decided to publish it in book form. And I know the sequel, World After, is out now, and it's really cool, and it has like, like, uh, like, like bat wings on the front. This one has angel wings, because it's about angels. And the next one has like bat wings, so I want to know what that's about. But I started reading this. I'm on chapter four page 15 uh it's good it's good uh i'm enjoying it and the third book comes out this year as well so i might pick that up and on to the books i haven't started uh i have divergent by veronica roth in the uk paperback uh it's a thick book uh i will read it uh it says Three flying birds, one for each member of the family I left behind. Sixteen-year-old Triss is forced to make a terrible choice in a divided society where everyone must conform. Triss does not fit. So she ventures out alone, determined to discover where she truly belongs. Shocked by her brutal new life, Triss can trust no one. And yet she is drawn to a boy who seems to both threaten and protect her. The hardest choice lies ahead. And I know Insurgent, the sequel, and Allegiant the third book in the trilogy are all out now um, and I know you all know about this series anyway so I'm not going to harp on about it but I just thought I'd pick it up and I really want to read it uh, I then picked up 
Noble Conflict by Mallory Blackman. Now, I had the hardback edition of this, but, I mean, the book was smaller than my other hardbacks and it didn't fit on the shelf and it looked weird. Um, and I'm very picky. I like everything to be, like, you know, level and everything to look uniform and whatever. So I sold it for quite a good price, actually. Um, and I picked this one up with that money instead, uh, the paperback edition. And it matches the Noughts and Crosses paperback designs, if you can see those. Uh, yeah, this is a new one. Um, it says, Casper always knew that he wanted to grow up and fight the violent rebels who threatened to destroy his homeland. Losing his parents made him even more determined. Rhea is a rebel with her own reasons for joining the fight. When Casper meets her, one of the people he has been taught to hate, he feels a powerful connection to this beautiful, mysterious girl and is haunted by strange memories that could only belong to her. Delving deeper into Rhea's mind, he realises he hasn't been told the truth about what the rebels really want or what he's really fighting for. So I'm really, really excited to start reading this. Uh, and there will be a sequel apparently. I don't know when it comes out. I think it's out at the end of this year. Um, so yeah, I want to get to that and read it. And the next book I have, I picked up in a charity shop, and it's Picture Me Gone by Meg Rosser. This is her new book after How I Live Now, which I have but I haven't read. Uh, and yeah, this is about a girl called Mila, and she has a gift. She can read a room, a person, a situation, and tell if you're happy or pregnant or having an affair. So when a family friend goes missing, Mila sees clues no one else notices, but is the answer closer than she could ever have imagined? So that is pretty cool, and I was like, yes, I will pick that up. It was only 99p in charity shop, and it's published 2013, and it has a really nice cover, and it's quite short, actually. I mean, it's only 195 pages. And the text is actually quite large, so I think I will get through this one pretty quickly. Uh, next book I have... Sorry, I just dropped a bottle. Uh, next book I have is Rot and Ruin by Jonathan Mabry. This is the first in the... Benny... something? Benny Amura? Something like that. Oh, I don't know. It's the first in the Benny something series. Uh, and it's about zombies. Um, yeah, it's about this family who, I think it's a family. Yeah, a family business as zombie killers. And this guy, Benny, doesn't want to be part of it. But he needs a job and he thinks it'll be an easy ride. And they head into Rotten Ruin, which is an area full of wandering zombies. Benny soon realises that there's more to the job than just whacking zombies. And as he's confronted with the truth about the world around him, Benny makes the most terrifying discovery of all that the worst monsters you can imagine might actually be human. So I thought that's a really cool concept, and I actually really like this cover. I mean, when I first saw the American covers, I was like, yes, uh, yes, I want those. But I went and picked this up, and I actually like this cover. And I know there are other books in this series. There's Dust and Decay, um, there's Fire and Ash, and a couple of others, I think. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. And I haven't actually read a zombie book, so that'll be really interesting. I then picked up a science fiction duology by Dany Ware. And it is Echo Rising and Echo Burning. And these are about... I don't even know what these are about. Uh, about a guy called... I'll read you the back again. Echo is an unlikely saviour. A savage, gleefully cynical rebel slash assassin. He operates out of high-tech London, making his own rules in a repressed and subdued society. When the biggest job of his life goes horribly wrong, Echo awakes in a world he doesn't recognise. A world without tech, weapons, cams, cables, anything that makes sense to him. Can this be his own creation? A virtual Rorschach designed just for him? Or is it something much more? Echo finds himself immersed in a world just as troubled as his own, striving to conquer his deepest fears and save it from extinction. If Echo can win through, then he might just learn to care, or break the program and get home. And apparently it's an epic duology, so I'm really looking forward to reading that. And they match, which is amazing. And the covers are beautiful. And so are the backs. Sorry. So are the backs. And also, when they're on the shelf together, look at that. Look at that, they actually match. 
beautiful. And I don't know if this is a duology, but I read somewhere that there, there, there might be a third one coming out called Echo Falling, I think. So I need to hurry up and read these, because if Echo Falling is coming out, I will bloom and purchase it. Next book I have is Empire State, and it's by Adam Christopher, and it's set in Other New York. And Other New York is Parallel Universe, Prohibition Era World of Mooks and Seamuses. That is the twisted magic mirror to our bustling Big Apple. It's a city where sinister characters lurk around every corner, while the great superheroes who once kept the streets safe have fallen into deadly rivalries and feuds. Not that its colourful residents know anything about the real New York until Detective Rad Bradley makes a discovery that will change the lives of all its inhabitants. So, I thought that sounded really interesting, and it has an amazing cover. See, this guy has, like, a gas mask on, which is really cool, and then this guy looks, like, really creepy, like a really cool villain, and there's some guy in a coat there, and it has, like, Empire State Building. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was a really cool cover and concept, so I picked it up, I picked it up, I picked it up. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you the next book already. I think I have, but I'm going to show you it again because I can't honestly remember. I've been away from Booktube for four or five months. So here we go. It is Trash, and it's by Andy Mulligan. And the back says, My name is Rafael Fernandez, and I am a dump site boy. Three friends, Raphael, Gardo and Rat, living on a heap of trash, a lifetime of sifting rubbish. One day they find something extraordinary, a deadly secret. From that moment they are, uh, sorry, they are hunted without mercy. With danger snatching at their heels, the boys are chased from the city's dirty gutters to its wealthy avenues. But they can't run forever. They need a miracle. Ooh. So I thought that sounded really good. Um, and it was cheap. It was, I bought it a while ago actually. It was in the works for like one ninety nine, something like that. So I picked it up. And I think, I think the sequel is called Thrash, or 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 rubbish, or something like that. And that comes out early twenty fifteen, I think, or maybe late twenty fourteen. So I thought it was time to get it off my bookshelf and put it in my TBR pile which is this by the way, this is my TBR pile what I'm showing you right now now when I make TBR piles I don't I don't say you know, I'm going to read all of these in one month, I just make a TBR pile, get through it put them back on my shelf, get more out and do the same but I buy books in between as well so the pile grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and grows but that's the life of a booktuber and a book buyer and a book lover. So that's the life I have chosen. That's the life I I I will cope with. Yeah, I'll cope with it. Um, and the last book I have, I haven't heard anything about it. And I didn't realise it was a crime novel. I bought it purely because of the cover and because it's a hardback. Um, but I don't know, I might give it a go. It's called... Pacazo or Pacacho, and it is by Roy Kesey. Roy Kesey, uh, and like I said, the cover. Come on, the cover is absolutely amazing. And like I said, it's a hardback, and I found it in a charity shop for a pound or pound fifty. So I picked it up. But yeah, I didn't realise it was a uh, like crime book. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I can cope with a crime book. Um, pardon me. But it is a beast of a book. Seriously. Uh, and it is... Let me see how many pages. What? 514 pages. So that's a big book. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you liked, click and subscribe. Uh... And I will be back with another video soon. I mean, like I said, I've been away for a while. So that's why this video has been quite substantial. Um, I will be doing things like creating book tags and tagging people. Um, and following book tags and doing like, uh, you know, book hauls and stuff like that. 
So, yes, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah. Have a marvellous day. And I will see you again soon.